We are now two, number two, deep into the regular season, and we are starting to see the early seeds of glory and death. So let's do this. To the field! First game between the Guzzlers, minus Kyle plus Dylan, and the Mafia, minus Zach and Addison plus Tyler and Marshall. Are you ready, kids? Picks, picks, the magical move. The more you make, the more you suck. There were turnovers being made left and right by both sides in the first half. The Guzzlers struck first with a pick six to Dylan, making it 7 0. The Mafia would answer with a flip to Marshall, who takes it all the way home, tied at 7. After a few more punts and picks, Seth would get it to Tyler for a TD, and it would be 13 7 Mafia going into halftime. <laughs> Second half now, Forrest would save the first drive for the Guzzlers with a spectacular catch over Marty. B. E. A. Beautiful. You want to know what's almost better? Dylan to Christian, and Christian squeezing by for the score. It's tied again at 13. The Mafia wouldn't let this stand, especially after how close last week was. No OT was the team motto this week. Seth would bail to Marshall, and he would vaporize Forrest and Dylan's ankles for the touchdown. Nineteen thirteen Mafia. And if you thought we were done with turnovers, Seth would pick it to Dylan again. Hmm. But the Guzzlers wouldn't do anything with that because, well... Marty would put the Mafia in good field position and Seth would give it back to Marty because why not? The Guzzlers would once again fail to come back. The final score would be 26-13, Mafia over Guzzlers. The Bros and the Stuffers, minus Hudson plus Christian. This also was competitive at first, but wasn't that close in the end. The Bros would come straight out of the gate like the world's horniest stampede of bulls. Stig would connect with Elijah for the early touchdown, it's 6-0. The Stuffers would respond. Dylan gets it to Ryan, who sneaks it into the end zone. The point after is good, making it 7-6 Stuffers. The bros would immediately answer, with Stig passing it to Elijah again for a touchdown. No good on the point after 12-7 bros. And then, the Muffin Stuffers strike back. Again! Dylan to Christian, and he barely keeps both feet in bounds. Touchdown Stuffers, 13-12. The bros would go for and out, and would lead to this. Christian would burn Elijah at the altar, and in the process, annihilate Tyler's ankles for a touchdown. Ouch. 19-12 suffers. Could the bros answer before halftime? Yes! With a long bomb to Tyler from Stig, and this game is tied, and going into halftime, 19-19. Into the second half. Bros on the quote-unquote one, and Elijah incinerates Dylan all the way home. Touchdown, bros, 25-19. Next drive for the bros, and it's a sack by Ryan. But that wouldn't matter because Tyler would rob Dylan the next drive. 31-19, bros. And then, Christian will return the favor. Thirty-one twenty-five, bros. Tyler didn't like that, so he decided to one-up his rival directly. There you go, Michael. Shut him down. Shut him down. Tyler, uh, defense! Oh, 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 oh. And they shall fight back and forth. Thirty-seven twenty-five, bros. Next drive for the Stuffers, and Noah swats that bad boy and picks off Dylan. No, no, no! Not in his arc. 
Bros would four and out that drive, but the Bros would take it back again with an interception from Stake off Chris Chan. This is how the Bro House will burn. Elijah would not let that go to waste. Over unless a miracle happens. And that's it. That's game. That run would put the game away, but Ryan wasn't done yet, was he? Still, the game was basically over. This final score would be 43-31 bros over stuffers. And if you keep it track at home, you know what this means. Week 3 will be the battle of the undefeated between the bros and the mafia. How'd the game go? Nice work tonight, man. It was a good game. We made some good improvements from last week. I'm excited about this team. Oh, good. <laughs> now you and the mafia are tied. Yeah, it's going to be a showdown next week. Two 2-0 two oh teams. I'm oh, dear. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. How'd the game go? It was good. I got a little mad. You got a little mad? I saw it that. It took me one play to clear off those. So. Oh, good. Good, good. Uh, maybe next week I'll try and have the rest of the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How'd the game go? Good, it was fun. Everyone played really well, so. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. You looking forward to next week when undefeated collide? Oh, it Oh, that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Mafia's excited. undefeated too. Cool beans. Yeah, no, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be interesting to see because their defense has been really good and they've just been playing really well. So Maybe they'll have Zach this time. <laughs> exactly. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. It'll be fun either way. But... Marty, are you ready for the undefeated showdown next week? The what? It's you and the bros. Yeah, I'm going to be gone next week. I'm at camp. So... Yeah, that's gonna be painful. Just gonna team. cut this out, you know. They won't know. <laughs> They'll just show up and like, where's Marty? <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't tell me Isaiah's going with you. No, he's not. He'll be here. Okay. But I'm like, I just remembered just like five minutes ago. I'm like, crap. With an asterisk. That was week two. Stay tuned for the highlights for week three. See you later.